Hey guys, your broker bears, and welcome back to my 5016 lip broker mode where last I'm left off. I he beat West Ham in the League Cup and I he had a comfortable victory in the league over Aston Villa. In this episode, as you can see, I have a my second group game in this year's Champions League against Luke Hawa. Oh. Urzawa. Now uh, I will have a league game against Manchester S City. Yeah. And um, yesterday was the beginning of the Premier League season, and to be honest, it got off to well. I'm gonna say a slow start. I mean, they're like. There was only one match that you could consider gave anyone like, uh, oh wow, that that happened. I mean, in previous years we got some like Aston Villa being Arsenal three nothing or West Ham being Arsenal three nothing. But, um, the biggest shock, I, I guess the biggest shock this season, first games were, so far, is the, uh, is the Leicester loss to, uh, Hull. Now, I'm not going to call this an upset, because everyone and their mother could tell you that Leicester were bound to, uh, and not be, you know, as good as they were. World has season. Well, these they were never going to be as good as they were last season. They won. Now they are involved. Now this maybe this is a one-off. Maybe they'll recover, yeah, or maybe he, this is how uh, their season is going to go. The maybe their seasons. From match day one. I mean, so Leicester fans, unless they are completely delusional from last season, have to realize that they're probably going to not enjoy a season like last season. This season. Or maybe ever again. Now, like I said, maybe, maybe the, uh, maybe the match will, maybe it was a one-off. Maybe Leicester will go out next weekend and, and be victorious. This or maybe they'll lose again, and, and people will realize that Leicester Great tackling technique. Whereas people had anticipated maybe a one-season wonder. That's that's, that's just that's just something that you know we just have to. Uh, Leicester fans are probably kind of worried about, but maybe not so worried because they might. Have, already made peace with the idea that they're I mean it's it's obvious I mean like I said unless they're completely delusional unless their fans are gonna be completely prepared for a season not quite as uh, good as last season I mean I don't think they're gonna have a bad season but I don't think they're gonna finish as high as some people are saying I mean I've heard two uh, other free free other uh, other YouTubers, uh, Spencer Cohen and the uh, True Joe, he both predict them to finish in the top ten. I'm gonna, s I'll have to wait and see Elastor a few more times before I can say that they might finish in the uh, in the top ten as is. After that first loss, I mean. Leicester only lost a handful of matches all season last season, and their first loss didn't come in until hmm, like November or something like that when they played Arsenal. Then they lost, to, they only lost twice more after that, and that was a uh, this their December game against Liverpool, and when they played Arsenal again. Weirdly enough, I'm not sure what their problem was with being Arsenal last season. Although you could say that they were pretty uh, poor touch and the possession's gone away. Unlucky in that second game with the uh, red card to 
Dane Simpson and the late free kick and goal. Cool. Will be a corner. Goal for Arsenal. I know, Alan, this is one of your favourite referees, and he's done well here, hasn't he? He's come back and done the booking, having let the play Wait. go on earlier. Yeah, exactly. You've got to give the... Where did Brito get a yellow card? He's taken a touch. Hang on a second. I have to look at this. Was it this? I'm going to assume that's what it was for. Defender, it will be a corner. It's a bit, it's a bit harsh. With a punch and shoots. Well, he was lurking dangerously. Should be asked me. Corner, wasn't he? And the ball broke for him. Yeah. It's a rather harsh yellow guard. Team that worked pretty well until the shot. To be a bit careful with uh, Brito and the rest of this match. Don't want a red card Turnover. to occur. This could be it. And here's a chance. Hey, I'll so take that corner. Corners and maybe increase. And uh, as I was saying, I'm gonna have to see Leicester a few more times before I can uh, say whether I think they're gonna have an okay season or if they're gonna struggle but on that first Profit. game that instantly tells you that I mean it's they're not gonna be as uh, good as they were last season instantly because of the fact that they like I said they only lost three games all of last season and already have lost one change footwear if it continues so uh an early setback. Just wondering about the effect of the I mean, into the players' eyes. It's not the uh, as clearly as they would do if there was no They're the only well, defending the Premier League champions to the lose their vision. first game out. Maybe gathers on the ball as well. In the in the year they they are defending it. the title. So um, that's that's not an exactly a good record moment, to hold. It's looking quite good for Liverpool. But only quite good. They would have hoped to be in a stronger position, but it could be worse, of course, as we look towards the clock and half-time approaching. Liverpool so, um, Leicester fans will be hoping that that whole defeat is a one-off, and that it doesn't occur again. I want a sturdy season, because, I mean, let's be honest, I think, like I said, even Leicester fans can would probably wouldn't and say you know wouldn't be uh, bragging that they're gonna do it win the league again I mean they're probably expecting a, a much much tamer season now because I mean the bigger well most of the bigger teams are gonna play much better uh, they might still finish above Liverpool because our defense is gonna be terrible this season first time all the strengthening we did has been severely destroyed via injury. So, you know, the margin here sunrise, sunset. So, uh, right now, if I had to predict, I'd say 10th would be, would be the highest I'd put, Lester. And uh, I'm, like I said, I'm going to have to wait and see them again. But... And a few more times well, before I truly down. judge how they the right. how it's I think they're going to get on this season. But right Liverpool now, really on top form in this I'm going to. If I had to predict right now, I'd say ten. The referee is six. I mean, I don't. I mean, I personally would love to see Leicester have an okay half season. Half you know, their second game in the Champions Cup group stage. That's the first half. There is an inspiration to it. We'll get his cross in now. That you can between these two as they do the teams that and he claims the cross. No one thinks will ever win the league. But that they can. If they can. 
And it's not just the uh, Manchester clubs, Chelsea. He, he, they're going to dominate me forever. Uh, I mean, we don't, we're not in the Bundesliga where one team is constantly going to probably dominate each for a length of time. We're not in, in France where one team is probably going to dominate for a very long time. We're not in, in La Liga where two, maybe three teams will, will dominate for a very long time. We're not in the, we're in the Premier League where going on what happened last season, anything can happen. But for Liverpool, they'll be hosting Manchester City. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. So, yeah. Well, it's not really a shock. I mean, I could say it's, it is kind of a shock. I, I, I don't really know how to properly do this. The fact that um, it is kind of a shock that, you know, yes, the league champions last year, they, they lost their first match to newly promoted Hull. But the newly promoted teams, they're always tricky. I mean, Liverpool are probably going to lose all six of our games against Borough Hall and Burnley purely because, as well, it's the promoted teams. We always seem to struggle against them for whatever reason. Hmm? Hmm? So, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, Leicester shouldn't... You know, they should say, okay, it's one loss. Let's... Let's re Let's re go, go over our strategy. Let's reevaluate before we go out for game number two. And they could still have an okay season. Like I said, no one is expecting them to have to win the league again. No one. They're, and they're probably not going to win the league again. Well, it swerved a bit at the end. It might have been going wide initially, but it's hit the inside. Plus, they're probably the never going to be yeah, a big house. With that kind of accuracy, there's just no chance. One of the uh, big no forces in the Premier League. As much as last season would uh, almost lead you to believe that they could be, the loss of Kante and possible still loss of Mares because. Now the window is still open. Purely the fact that they managed to keep Vardy was a huge, huge relief. But four nil here, almost time up. With Leicester being a bit weakened after the loss of Kante, and the team will be really pleased. With sat down they would have gone over what they did wrong against Leicester last season. Well, the teams that didn't get relegated, that is. And they would say, let's look at this. Let's study Leicester. Let's see what makes them tick. And let's make sure that their fairy tale season was just that, a one season fairy tale. Here's the shot. Great. I mean, corner again. It's just common sense that the uh, bigger teams are gonna be more prepared for Leicester than they were last season. I don't think anyone was fully prepared for Leicester last season, even though they lost three games. I think it was those were just blips. I mean, and that goalkeeper can just saunter out and pick that up. Who knows, me? He, there is some magic for, yeah, and only two teams managed to figure it out. Oops. Well, Liverpool will seemingly forgot it between their first and second games again. Leicester, 
Her Arsene Wenger apparently wrote it down so he wouldn't forget. Fan. That's a that's a nice. Are you? Just ignore it, just ignore it, just ignore it. Cause I will go fucking loopy if I if I if I you try to make sense of any of these stupid random um, um, complaints. Now, where was I? I had a point. Of some degree. I can't remember what it was. S Damn it, Neymar! Prick. I should drop you for making me lose my th train of thought. Oh no. Oh. So far, yes, Luster have had. Quote the biggest shot at the start of the season, but don't worry, Leicester fans. Liverpool will be playing today, so oh, no one will remember your loss because we're probably gonna lose to Arsenal. Oh, and make everyone forget that that match with Hull even happened. And the only proof they'll have is you know memory and. The fact that you'll have a one in the under her losses, but oh no, oh, when Liverpool are embarrassed by Arsenal later today, hey, everyone will f completely for this is the Liverpool he side. get America the fourth place with Rafael Varane in central defense. Gareth Bale starts with Marco Royce. You the even played Cristiano Ronaldo plays up. That's how name. bad it's gonna be, and you're probably saying yourself, why is he? Zabaleta. Neymar. Running off Liverpool when he supports them. I'm running off Liverpool because our defense is going to be absolutely destroyed by the Arsenal offense. They could play absolutely anyone and they will probably stroll past our defense and they'll be up against not our new goalkeeper because of course he got injured because of course he did. It, and now we're stuck with Minule for two months. Yay! We're probably going to be rock fucking bottom by the time Karius comes back, but hey! He, he will enjoy the championship, right? 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 At the back and building from the oh god, we're the screwed. Defense. This could be a chance. So yeah, Lester, don't worry about it. Liverpool are here to make it all, all, all go away. Hey, that's how bad. How this is this season is gonna be? It's gonna be a long one for us. That's unfortunately, even if the year is flying, the Premier League season won't go fast enough. Had he just held his run for another second or two, Fabian Dell. Another disappointing season, and I go back to an. I go back to the uh, league predictions of. The true Jordy and Spencer Owen, who both predicted Liverpool to finish in the top four. Okay, I'd love to know what drugs they were on when they made that prediction. Hmm? The fact that they are predicting Spurs to finish below a Liverpool with the defense Liverpool are gonna have for the first two months. Liverpool will get the friends. Well, our defense isn't gonna change because we're not gonna sign anyone new. Oh, it's only the goalkeeper will change in two months. Hmm? Oh, unless, of course, someone gets injured, because, of course, there's a guy gather. There's standard injuries to the defenders. There's to make it even worse. Coutinho. Ronaldo! And Cristiano Ronaldo scores! So, yeah. Liverpool are not going to finish in the top four unless we're part of some 
great miracle, but yeah, unless we s or we sign in some new defenders between now and the end of the transfer window. Oh, oh and likelihood of that happening, I'm going to go with, oh yeah, absolutely fucking no hope. Hope that that's going to happen. So, yeah, yeah. And shoots! Going to be his throw here. Liverpool is screwed. No way we're top four for this season. Not a hope. Not with the defense we have. Um, like I said, unless we sign new players just before the window closes or, or, or we get super fucking lucky. Like, super lucky. Like, we will need all the lucky. He's. He shit we can get our hands on. Hmm. Hmm. Four, four leaf clovers, horseshoes, rabbit foot, everything. All that is supernatural shit. It. This is the kind of and it still won't be enough. I think attacking players favor So, if you're predicting Liverpool to finish top four, or please, please reconsider because, like I said, unless we sign new defenders, Neymar. There's and able to make a good interception. Mesut Özil. And or get super lucky, we're not going to finish top four this season. David Luiz. So, uh, yeah. Not much more I can say about that. Is there? Arturo Vida. Mesut Özil. Coutinho. Gareth Bale. It's a good ball, they could be in. Great save by a diving goalkeeper. Wait to be alert to the men's. Half time now, and 2 0 is the score. At Can Liverpool replicate a good first half in the second period, which is now underway? Seriously. Neymar, he's kept it out. It comes quickly with a throw in. It's his th oh! Cristiano Ronaldo with the spectacular. Er. Well, there is a saying that er. things come in threes. Er. See, in this is what happens when you take a quick throw. Boom, boom, boom. Damn. A good look here again by the replay. Surprised he doesn't do more of that shit in real life. I mean. Has he ever scored a bicycle kick? I mean, he probably has. But for the life of me, I can't remember him scoring one. Well, when they do say, and you've been in these matches, about the psychology of getting it right on the big day, you would have thought ability-wise it's uh, very much a level pegging here, but the break is definitely on. Neymar Bell, 4 0. Beautifully. No comfortable win. Hmm. It's just so easy. The goal for Bale. He almost. It's damn near too easy. One team really on their game today, the other very off colour. Jesus Navas. I mean, I get the ball, and then it's almost an easy he path to the goal. For Manchester City, the substitute is ready. Coutinho, 5 0. Of course, Coutinho has got to get his, his usual goal against Manchester City. He loves scoring against Manchester City. 
goal from Coutinho. Mm. And what a strike that is. Two keepers wouldn't have stopped that top left. Brilliant. Teaming up with his buddy, his name Aaron Royce. Well worth analysing again. Damn, they're broke. Then. Yeah, and there are a lot of very depressed Manchester City fans looking on in so one sided today, distraught to the wondering racking up the goal. when this will end unfortunately they still have an hour half hour or so of in game time him him to go oh, off the post Tino was banging himself with Brace. Wait, what? That went out for a throw. Why does he? Did he give a? F he may give him a foul or something. It's the only thing I can think of. Well, whatever he gave. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, who scores goal number? His fourth. Or Aguero. Oh, is on. And just uh, just to have. Him endure the, the remainder of this game. Mm. Well, the match a long time over here. Six nil now. And thanks for bringing on Rahi into witness this destruction in person. He yeah. and that was nice of you. Sterling, what's the score? Sterling, Sterling, what's the score? Wait for it. Ah, oh, I thought Neymar would take. The ball from heart to make it seven. Nothing. Well, he has got a chance to get the Klein. Up in. Neymar. Neymar. The offside player. He's offside. Neymar. Seven. Nothing. Just so easy. Manchester City are falling apart at the scenes. David Luiz. He's, I'm not sure why they signed him. He's not even a again. defender. He's more mid. Although everybody knows this. But apparently, C didn't learn that lesson, and uh, that is probably why they are 7 0 down. Match, as the scoreline suggests. Yeah, the score. The little um, score thing that pops up. We can tell he knows the game. Showing he had a six sense the score there. line and the goal score. And nick the ball. Hers is like, yeah, yeah, we get it. We get it. It's dominating. Mission from Liverpool. The A Sports continues its coverage from the Barclays Premier League. The fixture. It's the only way that can make me feel better. Yeah, a lot of people At least we heard the results of the uh, whatever, however bad Arsenal be us to. Yeah, at least I can take pride in knowing that I decimated Manchester City. Terrific stop! Great effort! Ah, I hit it too hard and I hit it the bar. Colorado, David Luiz. Probably should have been eight. Four more minutes. This has been called a football match, but it hasn't been much of a match up between the two sides. The winners conclusively at their best, and the losers just aching to hear the final whistle now. Mesut Ozil. Real good contest. Are off these trying to get Mancy a consolation goal. I think that's a corner. Is it? The team hasn't no, it's a goal kick. Anfield again. Apparently, I've made a save. When the at home, they're winning the match. Whether you're a goal kick doesn't count. You on that red shirt, you have an affinity with these fans. You want to play well for them. You want to do well. There's the full-time whistle. Seven nothing. And rightly so. Mm. Cristiano Ronaldo is going to at the match ball. Did Neymar score a hat trick as well? He might have. Let's see. No, but when Coutinho scored one each. So Neymar scored one. Or did? Yeah, Neymar did. Let's see, Ronaldo, 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 Bale, Coutinho, Ronaldo.
Neymar. Yes. So Neymar did score. He scored only one. Not sure why I thought he'd score a hat trick. Wait, well, hey, thank you, Newcastle. Oh. Fuck you, man. Hit. Oh, that puts Newcastle into second place. Interesting. Um. Brito's gone up, so he can be removed. You know what? I'm gonna keep drum there for a bit, and let's train. Let's train Sheojo. For a bit. Why the ever hell not? Drum's about halfway to 61. For Mitch Chow is closing in as well on 71. He's a little closer than Drum is to 61. Those are back into second place. So the gap going into the next video will be four points. Eh, it looks like it could be decent. Another one that looks like it could be decent. Terrible. Could be decent. Terrible. Oh, Chelsea were playing Arsenal. Oh, London Derby. He there? I'm trying to think if Chelsea are playing today, no, or is it tomorrow? I know there are. I think they're playing tomorrow. I, I, I don't know why, but. It's something that's telling me that they're playing tomorrow. If I'm wrong, you know. <sighs> Whatever, but. I, I, I'm, I don't know why, but something is. Something is uh, just just telling me that the Chelsea are Monday night's game. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Who knows? Could easily look it up, but all I want to do is just lie down because I have this crick in my neck. And luckily, this video is at its end. Thank God. Thank the FIFA gods. Uh, again, anywhere near the uh. Next game. Hello, where's the next game? Mr. Chow so close. He's probably not gonna go up until the next episode. Unless there's another uh Oh, Newcastle. Newcastle and Zenit are my games in the next episode. Which will be Thursday. I'm trying to remember what day it was there for a second. <laughs> uh, uh, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. So you don't miss any future videos from me. And until next time. I hope you all have a very, very nice day.